everybody. Welcome to your course. My name is Sandra Batakis and I'm here to take you through all sorts of new features of Microsoft Office. What I'm here to also tell you is I've been working with Microsoft Office since version 1 on the Mac in beta. So that really does date me quite, quite a bit. In fact, I still remember my first day of work where someone gave me a Mac with a 7-inch screen and said I need documents and PowerPoints, and I remember thinking, I don't even know how to use this thing yet. So it was an interesting and very humbling experience so many years ago. But 20-plus years later, I'm here to say that using every version of Microsoft Office that they've released on all platforms, um, 2016 never ceases to fail us because, of course, we have all these great new features and the products get better and better. So I look forward to take you through not just the tech aspects but maybe some realistic aspects of how you might be able to use some of these great new features. We have new themes with 2016. The first new theme is the one that is simply called black and that's your high contrast. So if you need a little more contrast on the screen or you just like a little more contrast, this one might be one that you like. There's another one that's called colorful and what colorful does is it brings our primary accent color to the ribbon. So Microsoft Excel's icon has always been green when you start the program. PowerPoint has always been a version of orange and Word has always been blue. So that'll actually take that primary color of the program itself and put it onto the actual ribbon for contrast in the background. And I know that it does help me visually so that if you have a lot of windows open, you know exactly which one is open in which program. We have an ability to do things quickly with a feature called Tell Me. Tell Me allows you to go into a little text box and tell it exactly what you want to do. It will either bring them right to the feature or it will define the term. So you click there and you say in this case maybe I want to insert a picture and you will see automatically in this case because it's a feature it brings you to insert picture and highlights the choice for you in the menu so you can take it from there. If you have an online version of Word 2016 with Office 365, you will see that you can collaborate in real time. All you need to do is click on Share. It's up at the top right corner. It doesn't cover up your document anymore. You invite people. You decide their level of permission, and it will send them out a link to the location of the document in OneDrive or SharePoint. Now, we can share these with any colleague, whether or not they're running Word 2016 or whether or not they have a Word online. If you save the version online, when you click Share, it generates a link, and it will have you agree to share your changes. So you're going to have to agree to it before it goes out. We have Smart Lookup. It is powered by Bing, so that you can highlight any term you see in the document and right-click on it, and it brings you to Smart Lookup. Smart Lookup will allow you to look at the term and research the subject thoroughly with all of the Bing results. Ink equations are great. If you've had to make them part of your Word document, then if you were anything like me, when you go into Insert Equation, I find more time looking for the equation, looking for the symbol, and trying to get it to do what I know I have in my head, where in this particular case, if you have a touch device, you will see that you get to write the math right here, and it will convert it into actual text on the document itself. We have a great improved version history for the online versions. Now, you always have version history in any installed version of Microsoft Office, so you could roll back. But I do find sometimes when I thought I could roll back, there's nothing to roll back to, or that it wasn't clear to me what I'm rolling back to. So in this version history for the online version, you get to see a complete list of changes. And we just see it under File History, and you look at the version you want to open. It'll open in a separate window. You get to see the comparison side by side for the differences or have the ability to restore. Now in Word, we have Shapes Gallery. And when we choose it from a collection, we have a bunch of preset fills and theme colors to work within. So the point here is to be able to format the shapes much faster than previously and have them all match the color combinations and the color palette that's already been chosen as a default.